Hello, today we're doing Fun Fiesta Cookies, also known as Fruit Loop Cookies. In a plastic bag, you're going to put two cups of Fruit Loops, Fruity O cereal, and you're going to break those apart into small pieces using a rolling pin, or you can even use the bottom of a small saucepan that works quite nicely too. Once those are broken up, you're going to put them into a shallow dish or into uh, onto a cookie sheet that would work too, and then put those aside. In another bowl, put two cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and stir that together. Then put that aside in a large bowl, put one cup of butter, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of sugar, and blend that together until nice and fluffy. Then you're gonna add the flour back in a little at a time. If it gets too stiff, um, with the mixer, you're going to just mix it in with a wooden spoon. This is going to have the same consistency as sh shortbread dough, if you've ever made that. You'll notice there's no eggs in this recipe. Then just take the dough, make one inch ball shapes with it, and then just roll it into the, the Fruit Loop cereal. And then put it on a greased cookie sheet or one covered with parchment paper or a silicone mat. And uh, these do not spread very much, so you don't have to you don't have to put them that far apart on the cookie sheet, and you don't have to squish them down. They will flatten on their own when you bake them. Put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10. Well, it took me it took about 14 minutes for these ones, I guess. Let's say until the bottoms are golden brown. They will stay quite pale on the top, though. These ones um, are quite tasty. They're excellent with a glass of milk. Um, they're really cute too. They, the color of the Fruit Loops stay nice and bright even after baking. These would be a fun one for the kids. What do you get if you cross a hummingbird and a turkey? What? A very skimpy Thanksgiving dinner. Huh? I don't get it.